Now let us proceed with our third special condition, which is P pulmonale. So P pulmonale is actually a peak P wave, meaning that it's a tall P wave due to right atrial hypertrophy or right atrial enlargement. So what are the causes of right atrial enlargement? The principal cause is actually pulmonary hypertension. And this pulmonary hypertension can be due to so many causes. Among the causes are, first one is a chronic lung disease, especially those with core pulmonale. Second is tricuspid stenosis. Third is our congenital heart disease. Example includes pulmonary stenosis as well as tetralogy of phalot. And lastly, is primary pulmonary hypertension. So you can see in the diagram, the same with our P matrale before. So we usually see in lead number two, as well as lead number V1, because the best lead to see for your P wave is actually our V1, as well as our lead two, which is our rhythm strip. So what are the ECG criteria to say that this particular P wave is a peak P wave, or we call it as a P pulmonale. So the criteria are, first is the P wave is more than 2.5 millimeter in the inferior leads, which is our lead two, lead three, and our lead AVF. Second criteria is, if you are looking at the lead V1 and V2, the amplitude of the P wave is at least more than 1.5 millimeter. So this is the example of ECG in patient with P pulmonale. As you can see from the red circle, there is an obvious large and also peak P wave, which is when measured is more than 2.5 millimeter in lead two, lead three, and also lead AVF. And this is our second example. You can see from lead V1 and V2, especially particularly obvious in our lead V2, as shown in the red circle, there is a P wave with amplitude of more than 1.5 millimeter. So that concludes our third special condition, ECG, which is P pulmonale.